Hi, my name is Jacob Danell, and this is my script 3D Splitter. Here's the script itself, and you can choose between cutting horizontal or vertical. And here you can write the percentage where you want to cut. So for example, 70% vertical and split. And you get the perfect cut at 70%. This is good if you know, for example, that you have to cut it in three similar pieces. So 30 and cut in 50 and you get three exactly cut pieces. You can also use linear wipe to do this so you get the more graphical view of where to cut. So for example here 78 and the script will ignore the split at box so split and a perfect split. I also have apply grid button that applies a normal grid this is very useful for when you have to angle your cut in a special direction when you apply it to live background, for example. And last, we have the settings. So we have hide split at box so that makes the GUI a little bit smaller if you only use linear wipe. We have an apply line fixer. What this does is if you work in classic 3D and you cut, you can get a line, a black line in the cut. So what the apply line fixer does is that it changed the mode to alpha add that removes the line. But this is only in classic 3D. So for example if we go to ray traced 3D the line is not there when we cut. Last we have the add null controller. What this does is, when you cut, you get a null positioned in the center of the image that you can use as a controller. For example, if you cut a lot of times and you want to rotate everything, it would mess up everything. But with a null, you can rotate everything together. And let's say that you have an animation or something like this, and you want to cut all this but it's in different layers well it's no problem because if you select a non-composition it will ask you to pre-comp and name it so animation and it's cut and the animation is still there so if we bend everything is working perfect Also, the script position all the new layers where the old layer were. So it won't look messy in your composition when you're working. Also, the new comps will name itself to what the layer before was named. And in your file viewer, you can see that the script makes a new folder called the name and the three splits where all the new splits end up in. So if you cut a lot of times, they end up in it. And if you use more, it makes a new folder with the new ones in it. So it always looks clean. Also, let's say that you have a composition moved and in out points differently. No problem. The new compositions will be exactly in the same way. So if you want to extend your comp, the image will always be underneath. So here we have a live example of a scene that I worked on and also the scene that made me make this script. The ones we worked with wanted the end credits to roll on this piece of paper. So how can I bend a pre-comp so I easily can make the text just roll? So I start with making a new solid and make it really high because you never know how long it will end up in after you have bent everything. And then I position it correctly in 3D, and here's where the linear wipe comes in very handy. So first I always pre-compose to leave all the attributes, because the script moves all the attributes. And then I apply linear wipe. And press split. Apply grid and rotate. Yeah. 
and the same again. Apply linear wipe and split. Grid if you want. Linear wipe and split. And for the last one, ra rotate. And you're done. So then you just go to your first pre comp and we make you a square and put you on top position five seconds. There. And then just change the color to make it visible on the paper. And remove the effect and the final touch. And render. And there you have it, 3D Splitter.